In this video, we're going to be looking at five different websites you can use to sell your own domain names. Now, if you're anything like me, I have a lot of side projects that I work on. And as a result of that, I tend to own a lot more domain names than I really need. In my case, I have approximately 30 domain names and I'm probably only using about five or six of those. So I do have a lot of domain names I would like to try and sell in order to reduce the number of uh, domains I hold on to and have to pay for each year. So in this video, we're gonna look at five different websites that you can use to do that. And make sure to stick around to the end of this video where I will give you a free tool that shows you how to value the domain names that you have. We're going to look at today where you can sell your domain names is Namecheap. Now Namecheap is a service I use to register most of my domain names. So when I found out that they had a marketplace, this was actually a really good option for me to just jump in and use. Now if you go to the domain section at the top, you scroll down here on this, uh, on this menu and you will see a marketplace. And this marketplace allows you to browse all of the current listings that they have for different domain names. Now you can filter here by uh, the, the extension. So maybe you want to use .com. Um, so that will filter out all of the other extensions. And you can even pick the length of the domain name, the price, uh, the budget that you have in mind that you're willing to spend. But you can find some really good domain names in here um, that are reasonably priced. Of course, some of the best ones will go up in price quite a lot. For example, here we see finrate.com is currently at two and a half thousand dollars with nine hours left uh, to bid on this. But if you go through this, there are quite a lot of domains in here that um, you can pick up for reasonable uh, for a reasonable price. And some of those are like several years old already, so you get the benefits of having an aged domain. Um, but it's worth checking out, and I've made a few bids on different domains on the site already. Uh, I also have a few of my own domain names uh, available on the buy now section. So if you go into buy now, this will give you the fixed price for domains. I haven't tried out the auction part yet to sell my domains, but I may do that soon. Um, but in here you can see like fixed prices for domain names. So you can just purchase it, uh, add to cart and purchase. The second site I want to look at is Flippa. Now Flippa is, used uh, to sell a number of different types of websites and uh, apps and things. But one of the common things that people will sell here is full websites. So maybe you have a blog or maybe you have uh, some kind of niche website or a uh, SaaS application, something like that. Lots of people try to sell those on this platform, but you can actually just browse domains as well. So you can sell domain names directly here. And you can see here that we've got flowerdealers.com uh, and the asking price is currently at $505. Um, but these vary a lot based on the type of domain you're buying. Um, you can see some of them are really uh, professional domains too, like bankruptcylawyer.com. Um, of course, if you have a law firm, this is gonna be a highly valuable domain to you, so therefore the price uh, of that domain is gonna be much higher. The next website we're going to look at is probably one of the biggest domain name selling websites online and this one's been around for a long time I believe um, this is sedo.com uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly but this site is probably one of the biggest and well, most well known when it comes to selling domains they do allow you to do an auction you can do a fixed price too but they allow auctions and it costs $59 to set the auction up uh, to begin the auction and then at the end of the auction, they will keep 15% commission of the final sale. So you need to factor that in. And this is pretty standard across each of these sites. I think uh, I think maybe Namecheap keeps something similar, like 10 or 15%. Um, and the same for Flippa. So each of these sites will keep a percentage of the final sale. So you just need to double check that. The traffic here, they show us the traffic on the domain. And in some cases, you know, you will get some traffic. You'll see here partners.com, they've got about 10,000 uh, visitors a month, I guess, or 10,000 page views. I'm not sure what that is exactly. But based on these kind of uh, .com, short .com, one word domains, uh, the price is always extremely high. So in this case, they're asking for almost $10 million for this domain name. Most of these are pretty high, these short domains. But if you search around, it's, uh, there are some good domains available for sale. Um, if you search around and use these filters to go through each of this. Um, but here, you know, we can control the length of the domain, the price range, 
the listing type. So there are a lot of domains uh, and it's probably worth checking out this website if you want to search to buy a domain or possibly list your own domain. The next site I'm going to look at is Afternick and Afternick.com and I've been told that this is one of the best. I've been going through some of the forums and this seems to be the one site everyone recommends putting your domain names on. So I have a bunch of domain names I've listed here for sale already. Um, and it's quite easy to do actually. You simply just click the add domains and you enter each of the domains and then you put a price for each one, what you would like to sell it at. So this is what it looks like when you're trying to buy a domain within after Nick. Now there is a list here of like, I think these are probably like the top sponsored domains right now, possibly. I'm not sure how they pick this list, but they do have a buy now price. So when you're adding domains, you can set a buy now price and then you can also set a floor price. So the floor price is like the least you're willing to accept for that domain name. Having a buy now price allows you to try and get the full value of that domain if, if you understand what the value of that domain is. One of the good things I like about this website is that they allow you to participate in this fast transfer. Now, most of my domains are on Namecheap, as I mentioned earlier part of this video, but they have this feature built into it. And I, I don't know how they do this, but they have this feature built in that once you list your domains on this website, then you will get an email from uh, the provider. So I got an email from Namecheap saying that these domains have been listed for sale. And you have to accept, if you want to uh, opt in for this fast transfer, then it will allow you to automatically uh, once the domain is sold, it will automatically transfer that domain for you. You don't have to do anything. Uh, and then you will be able to withdraw the money that you got from that sale of that domain. So it makes it very easy. But one of the nice things about this is that it automatically puts you into the premium network. So all of the domains, I think almost all of the domains, all the .com ones at least, are in the premium network, which means there are over 100 websites that are reselling or trying to promote the domains that I've listed. So even if they don't get purchased on afternick.com, they may get purchased in one of the smaller sites that are selling domains across the internet. So this is a really good option. Um, but one thing to note is that when you sell a website, they will keep 20% of the first $5,000. So if, you're, if it's like a $2,000 domain sale or 1,000, you're gonna have to give 20% back to these guys for selling the domain. Um, but I'm okay with that. I think you can factor that into the pricing of your domain. Just increase the price to absorb that 20% uh, fee. And of course, then when the price goes higher, they reduce that percentage. So eventually that goes down to about 10% when it gets over $25,000. So that's a good one so far. Uh, I'm trying this one out currently. Um, but the next site we're gonna look at is GoDaddy. Now GoDaddy does own Afternick, so that's part of their network. So I believe that when we put our domains on Afternick, they will also appear on GoDaddy. So we find them on GoDaddy too. Um, but GoDaddy has its own network here. And you can search again, search for all these domains, make offers on them quite easily. Um, there are a bunch of different domains in here, lots and lots to choose from. Um, it's very easy just to go in and make offers on these domains. The final thing I want to say in this video is um, if you want to know how to get the value of your domain, GoDaddy has this free appraisal tool. Now I've tried a few of these appraisal tools, these domain, uh, domain valuation tools, and some of them don't take into account the actual domain name. They just look at traffic, they look at backlinks, they look at things like that. But if your website is, uh, if you don't have a website, if you just have the domain name itself, then you want to know the value of that domain name. So this tool is quite useful for doing that. And um, I'm gonna be in one example of a domain that I purchased recently um, for one of my property sites. And I don't actually use this domain at the minute, but you know, I may sell it. I got it for like $9 or something. I may, I may sell it, so, um, but once you click on this, it will give you a valuation based on other domains I've sold that are similar to this uh, domain name. So as you can see here that the valuation is 974 US dollars. Now, knowing that, that means that you can have an idea of what you want to list this domain at. So maybe I want to list this domain for $1,000. Um, and then you can see some examples of other domains that are similar to your domain. 
Um, these have already sold. So this one sold at $1,000. This one sold at $810. So it gives you an example of what people are willing to pay for some of these domain names. Um, so hopefully you guys have found this video helpful. If you have, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And of course, make sure to take advantage of the VPN offer that I mentioned earlier in this video. So you can get two year subscription with 68% discount on NordVPN. Um, so make sure to check that out and I will see you guys in the next video.